Number 55, calculate the molarity of each of the following solutions. And then we have letter D. In this case, they gave us 0.029 grams of iodine, right, I2, and that's all in 0.1 liters of solution. And this is actually the solubility of iodine in water at 20 degrees Celsius. Cool. Let's just find the molarity, right? So the formula for molarity, right, especially if we're given a quantity and a volume, is... This formula, I'll put this up in the upper left-hand corner. It's molarity equals moles of the solute divided by liters of solution. More simply though, we can know this formula as capital M, capital M for molarity equals just the moles divided by the liters. So that's what I'm gonna put over here. Capital M equals moles divided by the liters. Cool. Second thing that we have to do, right, is if we're going to use this formula, especially if we're going to solve for molarity, I need to know the moles and I need to know the liters. Did they tell us any of these units? Well, they didn't tell me the mole value, right, because they gave us a gram, but they did tell us that we're in 0.1 liters. So that's what I'm going to put over here, 0 0.100 liters. But I can't use this formula yet until I find the moles. So that's where we got to do some conversions, right? 0.029 grams of iodine, I2, needs to first be converted into moles of I2. Now, before I do this conversion, right, some of you might be saying, well, wait, Christina, wait, 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 they gave us another number. They gave us 20 degrees Celsius. Where, where does that go in here? Well, 20 degrees Celsius is a temperature, right? Celsius is a degree of temperature, and is the unit temperature any of these, no, right? I don't see a T anywhere in this, in this formula. So this is extra information. They will do that to you guys, especially temperatures. So this is extra. This is just used, I guess, to say like, you know, just to make sure that you know, you know, which numbers to put into your formula. So this is extra info. They just put that there, you know, just to make sure that you know what numbers to plug in. You don't have to do anything with this 20. It's not part of the formula. I don't care about it. So let's keep going. Now we need to convert from grams to moles, right? How do we do that? Well, we could do dimensional analysis, but if you need a refresher, we could just do this like small little trick over here, right? We were given grams and I labeled it as a grams of X because it could be literally any gram value. Uh, it could be an element or a compound, but if you're converting into the moles, it has to be of the same uh, compound. But we have that here, right? We're starting with I2 and we're ending with I2. So we can do this little trick. I'm starting with grams. I'm going to moles. So I'm going this way. So all I have to do is take that gram value and divide by the molar, the molecular weight or the molar mass. It's the same thing. Uh, where is the molar weight or the molecular mass or the molar mass? It's always on the periodic table. You need to find that number. And the molecular weight of what? It's the compound that they gave us. Or in this case, it's the molecule I2. So I, I have to find out what the molecular weight is of I2. So let's go to the periodic table and get the mass. Keep in mind that there's two iodines, so we have to take that into consideration. So each iodine on my periodic table is 126.9. So I'm just going to times that by two. So the whole molecular weight here would be 253.8. And that's in units of gram per mole. Hopefully I can squeeze that in. There you go. So now we could actually do the formula. I have grams. I just divide by mole, the, the weight, and I will get my mole value. I'm going to take the grams that I have, 0 0.029 grams divided by the 253.8. And if I just put my units, you will see that the gram on the top will cancel with the gram on the bottom. And that's why it's left in the unit of moles, because the grams actually cancel out. So let's see what we got here. 0 0.029 divided by 253.8. I should have two sig figs here. So 1.1 times 10 to the negative fourth. 
and this is in moles. So this is my mole amount for I2. That's this guy. I just found that out. 1.1 times 10 to the negative fourth moles. And now we're ready to solve. We now know the moles. We had the liters. Let's do the division to get the molarity. Molarity equals 1.1 times 10 to the negative fourth moles divided by the 0 0.1 zero zero liters. As you can see here, the mole does not cancel with the liters. They're two totally different units. So the units for molarity is moles over liter. So 1.1 times 10 to the negative fourth divided by 0.1. Yeah, 1.1 times 10 to the negative three. And that's either capital M or mole over liter. And that's the final answer. Actually, let me just zoom this, put this up there. There you go. And that's it, guys. Just like that. Pretty, pretty cool. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if this helped you out. Um, if you want, subscribe to the channel. That would help us out. And thank you so much for that. Let's keep working hard, right? And I'll be with you, you know, every step of the way. All right, we got this. I will see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.